Hi and welcome. We're going to have a look at the local histogram equalisation tool in PixInsight. And I'm not saying that every time, so we're going to call it LHE. I'll just open it up to start with, and you'll find it under Intensity Transformations. Here we are. This is actually a very simple tool in PixInsight, and seems vastly underused. It's hugely powerful, and I use it in virtually all my image processing these days. Well, what does it do? What it does is give our images more contrast. Something that sometimes happens, I like in this image here. This is one I've taken of M33, and I've used HDR wavelets on it. And it's made it very flat. Lifeless, as some would say. Now, when do you use this tool? It is not used on linear images. Therefore, this image is stretched, and I've applied HDR wavelets to it. Now LHE can be quite aggressive and cause quite a lot of noise in the lower signal areas of our images. So I'm going to use a luminance mask to protect the background. Drag the sidebar to create a clone and drag it to the sidebar again to implement it as a mask. Red area is being protected. Let's just hide the mask so we can see what's going on. There's really only three settings on here that we use all the time and we'll start with the kernel radius and I've used settings between 50 and 300 um, the larger the radius the larger the structures will be enhanced in this particular case I'm using about 150 the exact settings is not critical if you did 130 or 170 you wouldn't notice a lot of difference you'd use very low settings i.e. 30 or 40 in very very small galaxies or high settings of 250 if you're doing large nebulae. I'm using the galaxy here as an example but it's not just restricted to galaxies it can be used on all sorts of images. There are very few examples where the LHE tool is not of use. Contrast limit. Again as the little box says between 1.5 and 3. The higher the number will increase noise. In practice I use 2, 2.5 an awful lot of the time. And the amount Again, the little hint box is quite helpful here. As you can see, if you set it to 0.75, the resultant image is a blend of quarter of the original image with three quarter of the process image. A little bit of trial and error. If you're using a background mask like I am, we can have a much more aggressive setting. If you've not got a mask, you can drop it down to 0 0.3, 0 0.4. These two settings down here leave as default. I've never altered them. I'm going to leave this about one, and we apply it to the image. OK, let's have a look at before and after. Undo it on the original. As you can see, it's had quite a dramatic effect. I think it's really enhanced the galaxy. It's really brought up the arms and enhanced the dark dust lanes in the centre. A really simple tool in PixInsight, which can enhance many of your images. Go on, give it a go. You won't regret it. See you again next time.